A quick reminder about the architectural phases. Uh, each of the different uh, exam topics works at different points along in the architectural phases, so it's kind of useful to sort of think about uh, where in the, in the process, the architectural process, are the issues likely to come, because it can help you sort of focus your studies a little bit and, and other readings. So when you talk about site planning, uh, it's definitely a big part of the pre-elements, so pre-design elements the feasibility, the programming, performas, all of that kind of stuff would definitely be part of the thinking on site planning. So now this is interesting because there's the moment where the contract typically starts. So the architectural contract uh, doesn't usually start until after all that pre-stuff has happened. Is there's a program, there's all of that stuff that has been done by the client. Uh, you can, as an architect, get an additional service and do that work, or maybe you just do it because you want to make sure that the rest of the project makes sense. Uh, but uh, this is one of those sort of key elements sort of worth understanding. If somebody's going to ask you to do a feasibility study, that's generally uh, above and beyond the typical contract, uh, but it's definitely part of the site planning exam topics. Uh, schematic design will definitely be part of the site planning exam topics because this is where you're really starting to make sure that the issues that you developed in feasibility, the issues that you uh, came up with in terms of the site analysis are starting to impact the actual design. So you're placing the building in a logical site, you're using the soils in a logical way, you're using the orientation and the context and in a logical pattern. Uh, so the schematic design, those really kind of first run of, of thinking about how this building is going to sit in a place, uh, very much part of the kind of uh, uh, site planning exam topic area. Uh, design development, a little bit less important because that's where you, you've already made those decisions and you're now just kind of playing it out. You won't really find too many design development type questions uh, on uh, site planning, but you will find a great deal uh, of construction document type questions. So why is that? What's that about? Well, what that's saying is not only is it important to understand how the planning part works, but it's also important to know how your building interacts with the site. So the, the way the site is graded, for example, uh, foundation issues, how you're going to keep the water from penetrating the basement, things like that. Uh, those would also fall under site planning. And they'll also fall under some of the, the building design, some other uh, exam topics, but they'll definitely fall under uh, this particular exam as well. And there's some aspects of bidding and some other construction administration issues that are uh, plausible to come up with uh, as part of the exam. Uh, it's not as big an issue uh, on site planning, uh, so it's less likely to, to spend a lot of time uh, focusing on that. Um, but that pre aspect, the schematic design, and then some of those detailing issues, those are definitely hot topics for the site planning exam.